Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, welcome back to the unit review series for Battlefields of Mana. Now, this installment has to be my favorite unit so far, maybe one of my favorite units in general. This is the Axemen. Now, in addition to just how freaking awesome the figures look, look at this. Now, we're, of course, we're looking at Regal Guard Axemen. We'll take a look at Lunar Knight Axemen in a second. Honestly, one of the unit types where both armies have figures that I absolutely love. You know, like, I love the Lunar Knight Swordsman more than the look of the Regal Guard Swordsman. But in this case, both armies' Axemen look amazing. But anyway, love the Regal Guard Sons on the shields. Love the pose of holding the axe to the side. Of course, you've got the axe painted on the banner bearer so that when the unit does end up getting whittled down to just a single figure remaining... Banner bears always remove last, so you could easily identify what the unit type is. In terms of being able to apply accurately their special abilities and stats, as we're about to go through in a second, but let's take a look at the Lunar Knight Axemen. So these guys, fully decked out in armor, holding big, heavy axes in hand, of course, Lunar Knights having the Crescent Moon Shield on the banner bear. Still love the freehand axe on the banner. They even did the axes on the banner differently, so you can see that axe on the Lunar Knight banner, that axe on the Regal Guard banner. And let's now talk stats. What exactly makes these axemen unique? They're still a core infantry unit melee specialty. And we're looking at attack dice here. For a while, when we talked about archers, peasant militia, crossbowmen, they've all been ones. Finally, we're back up to two attack dice per figure in close combat. Here's what makes Axemen amazing. Now, first, let's actually skip past the combat strength ability for a second. We'll come back to that. Armor value 2, which means opponents need to roll 3s or better in order to hit them. No special defensive abilities to go along with their typical defense roll. No range, of course. Their movement, though, is a little more sluggish because of the equipment they're carrying, their heavy weaponry. They do move a little slower, 3 inches, in a single movement action. Of course, if you take two movement actions in a turn, that bumps it up to six inches. Initiative bonus of plus two. So added to a D6 initiative die roll off when determining who goes first in close combat. Health, as per usual, as you see on these units, two HP per figure, which means it takes two wounds to eliminate each one of these little guys. I mean, just look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at the detail on that guy. Again, manufactured and painted for me by Alternative Armies. Link in the description. Ability. Let's talk about this ability, and then we'll go back to the combat strength ability. So, their overall ability is Brutality. What is Brutality? Brutality states that when this unit of Axemen roll their attack dice, any dice that fail to pierce the defender's armor, get to be re-rolled. That doesn't mean re-roll the whole thing, even the ones that did get through. Just the ones that failed to exceed the opponent's armor value get re-rolled. So, we're rolling six dice. Opponent has armor value two, which means we need threes or better. That means after we roll our six dice, any dice that show a result of a one or a two, we get to re-roll. Just a single re-roll, so we don't get to keep re-rolling, but that will definitely help if all too common. You roll an attack die roll, and you're looking at ones, twos, and threes, and you're like, are you kidding me? Well, at least the ones and twos we can re-roll in that scenario. So that's brutality. That's what makes these axes so good at a cost of three. Now, that's tied with crossbows for the most expensive unit so far, but that's honestly not that bad. Three points to include this unit of axemen in your army, and we haven't even gotten to 
their other special ability yet. Let's back it up to the combat strength ability of Fury. What is Fury? Well, typically when a unit is whittled down to half or less of its figures remaining, and of course if you watch the introductory video that I haven't even recorded yet but plan to, where I kind of go over the basics of unit composition, a unit in battlefields of mana of standard infantry or cavalry is six men strong, or women, six men or women strong. You have a panic when you are taken down to half or less of your unit size. So if you lose three figures, that's six or more total wounds, the unit becomes panicked, not Axemen. Instead, Axemen trigger their fury ability. They become furious if you whittle them down to half or less remaining. That means they get a plus one added to every one of their attack dice. You heard that right. We're rolling six dice. You add one to all of those dice. Any of those dice after the plus one that still did not pierce the defender's armor get to be re-rolled thanks to brutality, and those re-rolls are still plus one. The Axemen are just a straight-up, powerhouse when it comes to offensive capabilities, especially when they are furious. And units with that fury special ability are immune to panic. Panic is a negative one modifier to your initiative roll-off, which can spell life or death when you are whittled down so low, because obviously if I'm hitting you from the front, you get two attack dice per figure in the front rank in this case. So if you are whittled down to half or less, just the front three left, and then you start losing guys off the front, you are now losing attack dice. So going second means you risk casualties and losing attack dice. Well, Axemen don't give two craps. They do not suffer that panic, so they do not suffer that negative initiative modifier. Of course, they could still roll poorly and end up going second anyway, but still, they don't panic. They're furious, and that's why I absolutely love them. For three points, add a unit of Axemen to your army today. And folks, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. This has been a unit review of Axemen for Battlefields of Mana, and until next time.